Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Cold front moved through today and brought us scattered showers, some isolated thunder from time to time, and some slightly cooler weather behind it. Temperature steady only in the 80s. Let's take you outside right now. No rainfall. This is our Sky Tracker in Woodway, our live Centex Rift System Sky Tracker right here in Woodway. And we're looking at 84. Little blue out there, a lot of clouds. Again, a few sprinkles are not far away. Let me show you this on our exclusive Viper radar. Some hit and miss rain kind of moving down the pike right now here into McLennan County. We'll get a little closer in. It is falling apart. It's all sliding down to the south, as you can see there, right through the Bell Mead area. Eventually, we uh, may see a sprinkle or two here. Nothing major for the most part. And again, we've no, no, seen no severe weather uh, throughout the day with the uh, front that had moved through. Down in Bell County, Temple over toward the Belton area, uh, not far away from Colleen. Also looking at a little bit in the way of some sprinkles. Quiet conditions now. A few scattered showers and storms uh, just south there, let's say down around the Gerald area. And then as we work our way over toward the Brazos Valley, over toward Bryan and College Station. Some spotty showers, some isolated thunder here and there, but as it tracks from Franklin down to the south there, it's starting to weaken here. So again, a lot of this is losing some of the uh, uh, strength from the heat of the day, and we're going to be seeing, again, quiet conditions move in here, I'd say around uh, 8.30, 9 o'clock tonight. There's the big picture. Again, widely scattered showers. There's where the, the leading edge of that front is down around the Round Rock area. It's a stationary front, and it's been mainly down to the south of us. But take a look at some of these rainfall totals. Again, this is Doppler radar estimated. And again, uh, some spots in McLennan County, Bell County, over toward uh, uh, Leon County under a Aerial flood advisory, but that has now been expired. But just give you an idea, close to you know four tenths in parts of McLennan County. You get over toward uh, Marlin, getting close to half an inch. Some spots picked up one to three inches of rain, just depending on where you were over toward Hamilton too. You can see an inch and a half. So again, very hit and miss across the region. But I think as we go throughout the evening tonight, skies will be partly to maybe mostly cloudy for a little bit, and all that rainfall. Will quickly start to die out here with that front to the south and again losing the heat of the day. This is at midnight tonight. Temperatures back down into the mid to upper 70s, partly cloudy skies. And as we start the day tomorrow, we're talking uh, upper 60s to lower 70s, partly cloudy skies. Kind of a, a mix of sun and clouds as we go throughout the morning. Temperatures mid to upper 80s by uh, lunchtime and by the afternoon, we're going to make maybe the lower 90s. So still way below average. Our average high is 98. We're going to be about 90, 91 degrees. A little bit warmer than it was out there today. And then look by late Tuesday into early Wednesday, we kind of kind of clear out the clouds just a little bit. And as we start today on Wednesday, look at that. Upper 60s to around 70 degrees or so to start. As we go throughout the day, mostly sunny skies, some high clouds, and again, temperatures running below average only in the 90s. So here's your forecast in for tonight. Partly cloudy skies. We're still monitoring those evening Showers, nothing severe out there, but I think by 839 they start to die off. 72 degrees will be the low temperature. And then tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds, not looking too bad, just a 20% chance of a passing shower. I think most of us stay high and dry. About 91 degrees, the high temperature. Now, as we look ahead here, this is the Waco Mattress Center long range 10 day forecast. 94 degrees on Thursday, slight chance. And then as we hit the weekend, we're looking at seasonal temperatures back into the low to uh, mid. I say upper 90s. Now, heck, 98 degrees on Saturday, 99 on Sunday. By next week, we're still looking high and dry with temperatures in the mid 90s. Nighttime lows will be in the 70s. As we look down toward Bryan and College Station, we're also talking about temperatures for the most part, uh, holding pretty steady in the 90s for highs. There it is. See? I need a new battery in this quicker. Gotta get a new quicker <laughs> battery, it's for sure. We're ch chances of rain here and there, not a washout, but uh, it's just a little bit more humid. Temperatures will be in the upper 90s, and nighttime lows will be in the 70s. There you go. No, no 100 degrees on the board. And matter of fact, most of this week we're looking at temperatures below normal.